So we're here in Rotterdam, and what you're seeing here is our latest test subject, the North Sea prototype Mark II, which is going to be deployed at sea tomorrow. So the team is currently making the final preparations to send it out to port, and uh, let's see what this prototype is all about. So what we're testing here is really a section out of the very long thing. Eventually the cleanup system is about a kilometer in length. This thing is 12 meters and you can really see it as sort of a slice of the bigger hole. Um, and what we're seeing at the top here is this HDPE pipe, which uh, gives the barrier uh, stiffness and flotation. And below it, there is this four meter deep skirt, uh, also known as the screen, uh, which um, enables the, the, the system to capture the smallest pieces which aren't exactly at the surface. And the purpose of this prototype is really to test the connection between those two elements, between the pipe and the skirt. Um, and there's really three ways in which we can merge those two parts. Uh, and we want to test all, all three of them because it's a really crucial connection. So we really want to test this before we take the whole system out in the Pacific Ocean next year. So the first way we can connect those two pieces is with a, uh, actually with a massive zipper. So that's what we're seeing here. And um, the second way that we're testing here is with a, um, with a Sheko, um, yeah, also known as a quick link. Uh, and what you're noticing here that these two methods actually require the screen to go all the way around the pipe. There's actually a third way that we're going to test, uh, which will be on the second test section, which will be deployed later. Um, but uh, that one actually isn't going around it, but it's just suspended uh, at the bottom of the pipe with um, connected with a rail. And these are the three connection options that we're considering um, during the North Sea prototype. So moving along here, what we're seeing here are these, um, these gray stripes which uh, are actually anti-fouling coatings. So what will happen at sea is anything that you put at sea, uh, stuff starts to grow on it. And we're not exactly sure whether that will affect the system. But just in case, what we want to do is we want to test some of these anti-fouling coatings. Um, and uh, together with Exo Nobel, we've developed a specific coating that is able to, uh, to stick well on this kind of material and at the same time isn't harmful for the environment. So we're testing different types of coatings here all along this, uh, this prototype. Um, and then moving further, what we see here, here are these, um, these uh, solar panels. Uh, they're not powering anything for the prototype actually, uh, but uh, eventually on the Pacific Ocean, we will need a lot of power for, think about the cameras, the satellite communication, uh, the sensors. So uh, we will have to put a, quite a lot of solar panels on this pilot next year. And really the, the tricky thing is how to connect those, uh, the solar panels with the pipe. And this connection is something that we're testing with this prototype as well. Now, what, what we put in here is a, um, is a uh, GPS tracker. So in case something goes wrong with the pilot, say a line breaks or something hits the prototype, uh, then at least uh, we are able to see that. Uh, we'll get a signal, we'll get a, a warning signal uh, back in the office saying, well, the, the prototype isn't in the same location anymore. Uh, and that way we are able to, yeah, to go out there and, and, and fix it, uh, thanks to these GPS tracker. So in order to keep the screen vertical, what we've done is we've inserted a very heavy chain at the bottom of the screen, about 40 uh, kilos for every meter of the, of the prototype. In case something goes wrong, say a connection fails or the screen fails, we don't want to lose this, uh, this chain. And the way we're doing that is uh, through these, um, these safety lines, they're made out of Danima. So in case something goes wrong, we're sure we won't be losing that chain. And finally, at both ends of the prototype, we have a, um, a tow head, which is what will be connecting the prototype to the buoys, the buoys that are already out there, which we installed with our first prototype last year, and which we can actually reuse. So this is an offshore operation that's going to happen tomorrow. So stay tuned for more updates.